Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Every Day, and today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at this Asus Tough Gaming X670E plus Wi-Fi motherboard. We'll open it up, show you what comes in the box, go over the motherboard itself and all of its components, and check out some of the specs. Now, of course, if you are interested in this motherboard or any of the components I'm using in my build, they're all linked below in the description. Now, let's go ahead and dive right into this Asus Tough Gaming motherboard. So a quick look at the box here before we open this up. Again, this is the ASUS Tough Gaming X670E Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. It says it's AMD Ryzen 9000 desktop ready. So this is compatible with AMD 7000, 8000, or 9000 series CPUs. Double check on their website for a full list of compatible processors. It's got the X670E chipset in it, AMD Ryzen, so it's an AM5 socket. PCIe 5.0, DDR5 support, DTS, HDMI, and it's got Wi-Fi 6E built in as well as Bluetooth 5.2. It supports ASUS AuraSync and it's got ARGB Gen 2. So quick look at the back of the box here and there's a whole bunch of specs. If you wanna pause it and have a closer look at those, you can. There's too many to go over here, but I do wanna point out a couple of things. Here under the memory, again, it supports DDR5 RAM, up to 128 gigabytes and 6400 megahertz and also supports overclocking with Expo if you were wondering. It's got two-way noise cancellation, a pre-mounted IO shield, again DDR5 support up to 6400 megahertz and, and it's an AI motherboard so AI cooling too and noise cancellation. So let's open this up and have a closer look at what comes in the box. So on this side here it looks like we've got our antenna does have, again, the Wi-Fi 6E in it. So you've got your connectors that connect to the back of the motherboard. It's got a bit of a cable there so you can move it around. And then the antenna folds out just like that so you can get a good signal. And then we've got the motherboard here. We'll come back to that in a moment. I'll just pull that out. And underneath here, it looks like there's some more stuff. So we've got our user guide as well as a certificate of reliability and some decals here, some tough gaming stickers. We've got some SATA cables, so there's two of those in there. One of them has a 90 degree bend on it, so it's easier to run those cables. And then some smaller bags here. Looks like we've got a couple of mounting pads for NVMe drives. And then there's actually three standoffs and three screws in here as well for NVMe drives. And let's go ahead and pull out the motherboard. So here's the motherboard, really sleek looking motherboard. I'm really liking kind of the matte black finish and the digital look there, tough gaming, gray accents, tough gaming, get tough, game tough. That's really sleek looking. Again, we'll go over all the connectors and components in a moment. We've got our IO shield and all of our connectors there. And we'll, again, we'll look at those in a minute. And then the back of the motherboard there, matte black finish, tough gaming, a digital look to it. Again, a really sleek looking motherboard. Now this is an ATX form factor motherboard if you were wondering on the size, but let's have a closer look at some of the ports and connectors. So we've got 14 plus two plus two power stages here with enlarged VRM heat sinks. And right above that, we've got two right up here, 8-pin ATX 12-volt power connectors. Over on this side here, we've got three fan and pump headers. So we've got a CPU fan, an AIO pump, as well as a CPU optional. And then right over here, we've got an addressable Gen 2 header for your RGB. We've got our AM5 socket. So again, this is compatible with Ryzen 7000, 8000, or 9000 series CPUs. Double check on the manufacturer's website for the full list of compatible processors. And then over here, we've got our four DIMM slots. So these are DDR5, dual channel, Optim M2. It says on the box, they handle up to 128 gigabytes and 6,400 megahertz. They're color coded here with gray and black and they're one-sided snaps on these ones, just on the top here, just like that. On the side here, we've got some QLEDs. So there's a CPU, DRAM, VGA and boot. LED there for diagnostic. We've also got another addressable Gen 2 header right here. 
There's our main 24 pin connector. And then right under that, we have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 type C front panel connector, as well as a USB 3.2 Gen 1 header. And then a little bit further down here, we've got a four pin fan header, as well as two SATA ports. These are six gigabits per second. So in the middle of our motherboard here, first off to the left, we've got a four pin fan connector right here. And then we've got our main NVMe M.2 slot here. So this is a PCIe 5.0 slot. Just remove the two screws here on the heat sink and you can have up to an 80 millimeter drive under there. Below that, we've got our PCIe 5.0 by 16 slot here. It's got metal to support your graphics card and that's where your graphics card would go. A little bit further down here, so we've got a PCIe 4x4 slot. Then off to the right here, we've got another M.2 SSD slot. This one will hold up to a 110 millimeter drive. Now this one is only a PCIe 3x4, and again, there's no heat sink on this one as well. Below that, you've got this heat sink that you can remove, and there's two more NVMe M.2 slots under here. These are PCIe 4x4. And then down here at the bottom, another expansion slot. This one is a PCIe 4.0 by 16 slot here at the bottom. So on the bottom of the motherboard here, there's all sorts of headers and connectors. We'll quickly go through them here. Right here, we've got a thermal sensor header as well as a clear CMOS header. Next to that right here, we've got the Thunderbolt header. At the bottom here, there's a system panel header. We've got a pump header as well as a fan header. And next to that, there's a debug header. There's two more SATA ports down here. These are six gigabits per second. And then we've got three USB 2.0 headers right here. Moving over a little bit. There's a four pin fan header, as well as we've got an addressable Gen 2 header here. That's a three pin. And right under that is the Aura RGB header. That's the four pin for your RGB. We've got a COM port header, as well as our front panel audio header here. Now the audio has Realtek S1220A codec as well as DTS audio processing. Now let's have a look at the back here, the IO shield and all the ports here at the back. So I really like when the IO shield comes pre-attached to the motherboard. It just makes it a little bit easier when putting together your PC. So back here we've got an HDMI port as well as a display port if, as long as your processor can handle that. We've got two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports here. These are type A. We've got a USB-C port here. This one's a USB 3.2 Gen 2. And then a USB-A here. This is a USB 3.2 Gen 1. We've got a 2.5 gigabit ethernet right here. That's Realtek. And then we've also got a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port right here. That's USB-A. And then another USB-C. This one is USB 3.2 Gen 2 two by two. We've got four USB-A ports here. So these are USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports. And one of them has the rectangle around it if you're doing a BIOS flashback. We've got our Wi-Fi connectors for our antenna. That's Wi-Fi 6E. We've got our BIOS flashback button here. And then we've got our five audio jacks here for connecting all our audio to our system. So overall, my first impressions on this motherboard, it seems really well built and put together, quite solid. Plus it had all the ports and connectors I was looking for, for my build, which is perfect. And I really like that matte black finish on it with kind of the digital design there. It's gonna look really sleek. It's not overbearing at all. So again, this is the ASUS Tough Gaming X670E Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. So I hope this closer look at the ASUS Tough Gaming X670E Plus Wi-Fi motherboard gave you value. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.